I'd like to now welcome James Benham, leader of the Green Party of Manitoba. Thank you, David, for the introduction, and thank you for the land acknowledgement earlier today. And thank you, everyone, for being out here. This is wonderful. Look at all these people. I think you guys should be really proud of yourselves. The 2016 campaign was amazing, and I have no doubt the 2019 is even going to be more amazing. And I think you should really be proud of yourselves and how effective this campaign's been. I think the sign to me is that I see signs popping up all over my neighborhood, and I think to myself, I haven't got my signs up. I've got to get on it. You guys are out hustling us politicians. You know, full credit. And, and, and to the disability community for accomplishing that. And what that shows is the capacity of the disability community, of everyone that here is here today. Um, as we've heard people comment already that we want people to work, people want to be involved. There is a lot of human capital in our society that we aren't capturing. And if we work on that, we're going to have a more inclusive, a better society, a society that respects the diversity. Because ultimately, we're all people. And that's really, I think, what it's about. One really important policy for the Greens is our guaranteed annual income policy and I'd really encourage you guys to go on our website and look at our 2016 uh, platform on this and we're working on the details for 2019 but you know poverty is a major barrier for all Manitobans and we look at the success of programs like old age security and we want to expand it we want to create a guaranteed annual income for all Manitobans we want to make sure that the most vulnerable are cared for and if, you know, those of us that are doing a little bit well aren't willing to put, take a few pennies to make sure that we take care of everyone in our society, then I don't, I don't know what's wrong with us. I, I think that that is key and the broader implications for those that are living with a disability, for our healthcare system, for our justice system are massive. Um, I also want to, you know, Greens want to take a more cooperative approach where we've seen Greens elected across the country, uh, Elizabeth May and now BC and Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick and Ontario, they try to bring a more cooperative tone to government. So I want to acknowledge both the past government and the current government with respect to doing some work on the Accessibility for Manitobans Act. I mean, we've got the first customer service standard under the previous government and now standards for employment. But there's three more standards to do. We can't wait a single term per standard. That's too long. We need to get on it now. I'm glad to hear that we have the acknowledgements from other parties that we're going to see it implemented in the first term. We want to see all the standards implemented right away. And that's why we need to put Greens in the government. We'll hold them accountable. And more than that, it also becomes about priorities. There's so many issues out there. I'm not going to be able to get into all of them. But it becomes a matter of making that a top or a funding priority. I'll give you one example with respect to mental health. In New Zealand and the United Kingdom, they put about 11% of their healthcare budget into mental health. We put 5% into mental health. It's about those types of priorities and making, you know, we've uh, access to assessments uh, for people that might need it, particularly for I think a two-year waiting list for students who have autism uh, to get assessments. These are, these are the types of problems that we have and that I don't have to tell people there. I mean, the people out here, I mean, that's what I enjoy is talking to you and hearing what issues you have. I want to acknowledge uh, Catherine Lady. I don't know if she's out there. She can only be so much out in the crowd because she has multiple chemical sensitivities. It's hard for her to breathe air, so even being around a crowd is a challenge, so I've been corresponding with her on email. So there's so many issues out there, and I obviously can't address them all. Um, but a lot of them, I think, if you look at our platform, even our guaranteed annual income, I just wanted to touch on that one was the point I forgot to mention, which is that the sad fact is that I think many people support workers that are helping those living with disabilities with themselves be a beneficiary of our guaranteed annual income. The way we've, that's wrong. That's outright paid. wrong. We and need to respect the caring paid. professions more. And uh, right. you know, this is what we want. Paid. We want an inclusive, dignified society. Uh, David, you made the comment of people have to choose between groceries or a bus pass. Well, we want to make the bus pass free too. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I'm really a pleasure to meet everyone out here. I'm going to have a chance to mingle with the crowd afterwards, so please come talk to me. I think that's what's most important is to listen to you. Thank you for the work that you're doing in holding us politicians to account.